Several drivers at Indiana State University wake up to a deflating surprise. Police say two men slashed more than 60 tires on the campus early this morning. The two suspects are now in custody. News 10's Rhonda O'Moore explains how a bar fight led to dozens of car owners outraged. High speed tire changes. Cars propped up. All the action of a racing pit stop. But this is actually the ISU facility management's parking lot. Virtually slashed apart. Dozens of vehicles, many of them ISU property, vandalized. Here's one of the reasons why officials are so frustrated. Even though it only may have taken a few minutes to slash all the tires on this car, it's going to take more than an hour to fix it. And just take a look at all the cars they still have to do. Pretty mad. I mean, at 4 o'clock in the morning, that's not what you want to what you want to see when you get off of work. So Kyle Newhoff owns this SUV. Look at how he found it Friday morning. But he says he noticed something even more disturbing after discovering his damaged vehicle. A guy came up, bent over, and uh, I saw him do something to the tire, and all of a sudden I heard air come out. And he went around out to all four tires and then took off. A suspect. Police were able to use Kyle's account along with surveillance video to bust these two guys, Kenneth Masterman and Lee Hickey. Neither of them students. Police say it all started with a bar fight here. The two men were bounced from the valley. We're hoping that they would slash the tires of the person they were fighting with, although they didn't know for sure that this person was driving. They figured that if they slashed enough tires, they would get the, the person that they had been involved in the fight with. A poorly aimed attempt at vengeance. Now it's up to this train crew to deal with the damage. Drilling, towing, and sweating. Working hard to piece together what took a matter of moments to slash apart. In Terre Haute with photojournalists Ryan Ward and Cody Murphy, Rondrell Moore, News 10. Now, officials say most of the cars slashed were ISU owned. However, police say they believe the two suspects also slashed tires blocks away at the Sycamore Apartments as well.